Uh, my name is Omalawa for all those that wanna know. Got a YouTube step in Insta that I named the Omo Show. Where I clearly spit the flow, show you around the life I chose. So at me if you wanna see how far the story goes. Peace family, welcome to the Omo Show. I'm Omo, the Afrocentric creatrix, here to raise the vibrations of the entire black nation. Yesterday I did this video and I was just talking about why I'm pregnant and single and why the father of my child won't be involved in my child's life. Um, it has to do with like domestic violence and just abuse in general, physical, verbal, mental, emotional, that kind of thing. And I got a lot of positive feedback from women. And uh, as far as men are concerned, I got some positive feedback. But there were also at least six men who commented saying, oh, it's your fault. You chose the man. You should have done better. Other black men don't need to get involved just because you wanted to choose a shitty one. It takes shitty women to choose a shitty man. You know, all these kind of things, right? And it just made me, like, I felt some type of way reading those comments this morning because it just made me feel like, why, once again, black woman gets demeaned for the the areas that they lack? You know, like, but either way, um, so many times women who suffer from abuse... We are told things like this, you know, that it's your fault, you know, you keep doing this and you, whatever the case may be, you should have known, you should have saw it in them, yada, yada, yada. And I just wanted to come directly to women and say, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You cannot take on the burden of somebody else's demons. You don't have to make someone else's demons yours. Like, you don't have to make their problem yours. The reason that they put their hands on you has everything to do with them. It has nothing to do with you. You know, uh, Lauren Hill, she says some powerful shit. You know, she says, um, I saw this, this video of an interview where she was talking about being used by God. And she was just like, you know, people want to be used by God, but they want to be used to do the glorious things, you know. They say, put me on the stage, guy. You know, let me let me go to the Oscars, the Grammys, and all this good stuff. She's like, but you know, in order to be used by God, sometimes you have to be beaten. Sometimes you have to be broken down so much that you see that the person who's doing the beating is suffering way more than you are. Like, to be used by God is a lot of work. And for me... I accept my position on this earth that sometimes it's not my lesson to learn or sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not my fault. Sometimes I'm just a part of somebody else's growth and learning. And to be used by God, that's what it means. Everything ain't gonna look like dandelions. Everything ain't gonna be just perfect. Sometimes, literally, you know, to, to be in an a, in a abusive relationship, you really do realize that you don't have the problem. They got problems. And it's just sad for them. Not sad so much for you. But sad for them. Sad to see how much demons they got inside of them. It's not your fault. It's not your fault for trying to be a healer. It's not your fault for having um, or seeing the potential in them. To be better. It's not your fault for trying to be a great woman and uplift a man. And think that you had a power to do it. It's not your fault for thinking that, yes, he sincerely meant that he wouldn't do it again. It's not your fault. So don't allow anybody to make you feel like it's your fault. Ain't nothing about a man putting his hands on you. Especially when you ain't provoke him. And when I say provoke, I mean literally just putting your hands on him first. You know, hitting him first. I don't believe in doing that. That's just my personal thing. But at the end of the day, when you're not doing that, when literally you having conversation with this man and he decides to smack your ass, that ain't your fucking fault. And it ain't even your fault for staying. You know, I'm not saying that you should stay. But what I'm saying is that there's a lot of things that come into play as to why we stay. Like our self-esteem, how much we think we're worth, uh, our fear around leaving. There are different things as to why we stay. And you know, you don't have to listen to people on the outside who ain't never been through it. Especially men who want to demean us and degrade us and make us feel less valuable than we know that we are. You ain't got to listen to them. At the end of the day, you know your truth. You know who you are. And I know who I am. And if I didn't know who I was 
If I didn't know how amazing I am, if I didn't know that was just a fucking, uh, like a fucking mishap in my life, you know, just a little bump in a smooth roll, if I didn't know that, then I would have actually took to heart what these men had to say to me, you know, about it being my fault. But I know it ain't my fault. I know that I didn't deserve that. I know that I've done nothing but love, put love into the universe, and expect love back, yet I still didn't get it. I know it ain't my fault. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm amazing. I do what I'm supposed to do. But at the end of the day, it wasn't, it was me taking a space to be somebody else's learning lesson. To be my own, to make sure that I don't go back to that, but also to be somebody else's learning lesson. You know, it's not always about you. It's not always about you did something wrong. You didn't do anything wrong, okay? So I just wanted to say that, y'all. You know, check out the video if y'all haven't already. You know, read the comments if, if you know you haven't already. And, you know, if you feel the need to comment on this video, like this video, please do. You know, um, if you feel like my channel might be a channel for you, please subscribe. If you feel like other people need to hear my message, please share. And other than that, I'm just going to leave it at that, y'all. I love you so much. Peace, love, black power all day, every day, ain't no other way. Don't let nobody make you feel any different, okay? You got the power. Peace.